Hi everyone, Mike Newfound Past on a happy Friday. Let me get over here in the chat. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, have two items to uh, pack. Uh, haven't picked them out yet, but um, yeah, got two items to pack. I had three sales yesterday. Uh, three pretty good sales. Uh, three sales for two hundred and sixty dollars yesterday. So it's picking up. Um, it's extremely odd here. I uh, didn't want to jump in. Uh, John had a working hangout and they just uh, wrapped that up and I didn't want to bump into that. So I um, waited for that to be over. That's why I'm a little bit later than normal, but that's okay. You know, good. John's a good dude. This is uh, very bizarre. No one's in the chat. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know if something's wrong or what. Well, if anyone's watching, uh, please uh, say something in the chat so I know that the sound is good, the video's uh, coming through. Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I am using this new microphone. So, uh, maybe something's weird. Uh, but anyway, um, it's going to talk about a few things. Like I said, I have two things back up. Let me let my dog back in. They're outside doing their business. And it is cold outside this morning, so this is a I'm 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 a little bit confused. This is extremely odd. No one's in the chat. A bit disconcerting but anyway i'll uh i'm gonna go over to my ebay page um i know i'll have to go out to the garage to pick one of these items i didn't have a uh, time this morning to pull these out oh and that other thing may be upstairs too so maybe we won't pack anything <laughs> but we can just chat Going over to look at something here. Whew, it is cold down in my lower level. Yeah, he's not live anymore. I, I was uh, waiting until John wasn't live anymore, and I was making sure of that. So. Sorry for the silence there, but I'm trying to figure out if I'm uh, something's weird here. Uh, something is definitely not right.
I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's Craig. Hey, Craig. Good morning. I was being, Craig, I'm serious. I was beginning to wonder if this thing was broken. I didn't, <laughs> if the microphone was broken or something was going on, because it's kind of weird. Usually I have, you know, a good 10 or 12 people that pop right into the chat uh, right when I go live, but uh, no one for like five minutes. It was, it's so bizarre. But uh, anyway, it may just be a crazy day. Maybe everyone's got things going on, you know, working, all that other stuff. So who knows? Can you uh, hear me, Craig, and all that good stuff? Uh, just uh, say yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I figured that, Craig. That's why I wanted to pop in, just do a, you know, 15, 30 minutes or something. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. I was, like I said, I was beginning to wonder. I didn't know <laughs> what was going on because, you know, usually the, you know, usual people will pop in. You know, I knew John had just ended and uh, I was doing my normal uh, chores this morning, so I couldn't jump in on his uh, working hangout. But uh, I had two to ship and, uh, yeah. Of course, I forgot to didn't get the notification yeah that's the notification things have been weird haven't they like i only get notifications like a half the time and even those times like the the stream or the hangout or whatever it's already started and uh yeah the youtube notifications are so weird and bizarre but anyway i mean i'll just you know you got two to ship as well craig that's that's awesome i had three total sales yesterday but they were really good sales three for 260 dollars total so uh and that's really what i want to be at i want to be at uh um you know quality over quantity you know so struggling with lighting oh yeah Lighting's the number one, I think. I have a lot of people talk about different things for YouTubers and everything. You know, it's all a learning process, but lighting is, I mean, you would think it's simple, but it's not, you know. Um, just to find the right setup for the space you're in, the area you're in, you know, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And it's still just uber ultra bizarre. There's only uh, two people in here, and I think that's you and me, Craig, because <laughs> I got the chat pulled up, so. But anyway, oh well. I was going to talk about um, positivity in everyday lives. Like everybody, there's always going to be, you know, most people are, are positive and, you know, will help you up if you're down and stuff. But there's always going to be those negative people. And I've talked about that before, the negative Neds and Nancys. And when I was thinking about it this morning, I was thinking about when I bought my retail stores and I've told a little, I've talked a little bit about the retail stores before, but when I bought the, the first retail store, you know, the flea market, people call it the antique mall, whatever you want to call it. It was bankrupt. And, um, and I've talked about that, but, uh, what I haven't talked about is people specifically my wife's family. Cause we lived in an area where it was mostly my wife's family. Um, nothing against them, but they just thought we were crazy. They thought I was absolutely insane for buying this bankrupt flea market. But, uh, it goes back to, uh, when in my life, all my life, if I have followed what other people thought was correct and what was right, it usually hasn't worked out well. If I followed my own gut instinct and what I thought was right, it usually worked out better. And and everyone has different um, experiences and uh, things like that. But that's usually the case when when I follow my gut, it tends to work out okay. And when I don't follow my gut, hmm, it's just not a good situation. And there's a lot of factors that could that could happen. But uh, 
But um, yeah, and and that goes for everything, and that goes for not only your personal life but your business. It goes for eBay, you know, your sell reselling, and it even goes for YouTube. Like when I did when I decided to open my channel in May, um, it was hard to be creative because it seemed like every you know not everyone was necessarily doing the same thing because everybody brings their own unique perspective to everything. But, uh, in my mind, I always wanted to try to be creative and, uh, yeah, and do things differently. And that's what I'm going to try to do this year. I don't, and I don't know exactly what that entails or what it means. It's just a thought process I had this morning was, you know, instead of, a uh, uh, being a follower, be a, you know, march to the beat of a different drum, you know, blaze your own trail, that kind of thing, all the cliches you can imagine. So, but anyway, that was just to my thoughts of the day. This is still super bizarre to me, Craig, and I'm glad you're in here, but, uh, and I didn't send out a link. I was just going to do a short, you know, video by myself packing stuff up, but then I forgot to pull the items to pack up. <laughs> I still may be able to do the one. I got a jacket I can go grab really quick and pack it up. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's out in my garage. I know for a fact it is, that jacket. So, Because usually when I do these things, and if I if I think I'm going to go an hour, like, a, you know, I have quite a few items to pack up, I'll definitely invite other people in and uh, to participate in the chat because sometimes talking to yourself can get to... <laughs> challenging but um yeah i got some stuff listed yesterday i hung out on uh yeah I, it's super weird i mean usually michelle and you know sean and denise and there's there's a group that a group of five or ten i know i'm forgetting some people that are usually in here so it's just super weird you know, and usually these chats, it builds up to about 50 or 60. So it's, it's so bizarre and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I know we're live because you can see me and you can hear me. So, uh, yeah, it's not like I'm going to end it just because people aren't watching, but, uh, cause it is what it is that happens. Um, Yeah, I, I knew, uh, I think Rake and Prophet was also live, but uh, I don't know if a lot of my people watch him. They may, so I don't know. I, I don't personally watch the guy, but, you know, I know a lot of people do, so it's, it's hard to tell. You know, I, don't, I definitely am not going to bump into guys like John or Scott or, or Justin or you, Craig, or, or Lauren, or, you know, there's a group of us. I'm not going to ever step on anyone's toes, but Rake and I don't care, you know. Um, I don't know the guy and I don't personally watch him, so I'm not going to try to avoid when he's live, even if it means I don't have any viewers. So <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yep. That's what John apologized to me this morning when he found out. Because usually I do my show at nine o'clock, and he was like, "I'm so sorry, I don't want to step on you more." I'm like, "It's no big deal, John. I didn't really have much for today anyway." So, and I kind of changed things up a little bit because usually uh, Fridays I just drop my what sold video, which I did, uh, but I would not have done a live show. But I'm starting the process to the changeover where. Um, especially next week, next week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a live show at nine and Tuesday, a haul video and Thursday, a sold video instead of Friday. So, but this week, you know, like I said, I just dropped my sold this morning, just like normal, but next week it'll be Thursday. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, maybe people will watch the replay and stuff, but, uh, Yeah. I think I'm gonna go try to grab this jacket real fast so I can have something to pack up while I'm sitting here chatting and stuff. Got a blazer going out. Let me make sure I get the right one. I have a lot of blazers and coats and jackets, so I gotta make sure I get pick the right one out of out of that. Okay, yeah, I know which one this is. I'll be right back. Be right back.
sorry for the dead air. Um, yeah, I went out there and I actually couldn't find it. It's probably buried beneath a layer of uh, stuff. During my redo, I had to pack my uh, pack my garage more than normal. Hello, you uniquely me. <laughs> yeah, that's what he just see that. I'd, I put a box there so my dogs can't get you know out to the the cat litter boxes are down here as well, and they like to sniff around those. So I'm glad somebody else is in here. It's a, I was be beginning to wonder. Usually we have you know a lot of people come and join in in these, but uh, it was a no one for a while. So well, let me look at that, Craig. A cool T-shirt sale. Whoops. Let me look at that. Oh my God, Brooks and Dunn. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Old Brooks and Dunn. I got a counter offer here. Been going back and forth with, on an item with someone this morning. So, uh, yeah, counter offer again because they, they started out really low and I'm trying to get them up to where something that, you know, at least it's a reasonable offer, you know. They're about to run out of offers, though, so <laughs> we'll see. Oh, hey, Tracy, I'm going to note that down. I'll do that. Uh, let me get a pen here. Okay. It's so cold down here, my nose is running. <laughs> Our, uh, let me get a tissue here. I gotta start another page here. Uniquely me. Tracy. All right. I got you down. And thank you for being here, Tracy. Like I said, it's it's weird. But no one else is in here, but if it's just us three, that's fine with me. <laughs> Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. On offers. Yeah. Going back and forth. Yeah. I've been pretty fortunate. I have had no, uh, uh, non-paying bidders on or non-paying, you know, non-payers from offers recently. So I've been fairly lucky through the Christmas season. Uh, let me see here. But anyway, I have, I have a, you know, I've talked about my place before, and we have three levels, and I've, my uh, selling levels on the lowest level, and it's just my wife and I and our pets. You know, so uh, we don't. I try not to use our central heating and cooling because it's just us two. You know, so I try to zone heat and cool. You know, I have heaters, and we have a gas fireplace upstairs, and uh, up in our bedroom, I have a uh, you know heater and uh, actually a separate air conditioner just for that room when we sleep at night. You know, in the summer and stuff. Not one of those that hang out your window, but the, one of those ones that's in the room, you know, uh, a HOA wouldn't allow one hanging out the window <laughs> and I wouldn't have done that anyway. But the an effect of that is down here. It gets get really cold down here. So I need to turn on a little space heater but, uh, or do some laundry. I have one of those things to attach to my dryer where you can flip the flap and to make it either go, you go the heat, go outside in the summer or stay inside in the winter. And, uh, yeah, so do a load of laundry to warm it up down here. Uh, Craig, did I show you my Chrome plugin for a name? Oh, no, you didn't. I need to know that. Yeah. That would be awesome. Uh, I forget where Craig is, Tracy, but I'm in, uh, I live right now in Northern Virginia, the Washington DC suburbs, but I'm originally from Arkansas. Uh, but I've lived all over. I've lived, I went to college in Oklahoma. I've been in California, Florida. Uh, 10 years in Missouri and now we're in Virginia for probably the next decade or so. Craig's in Alabama at Birmingham. Okay. So you're in South Alabama, whereas Scott's in North Alabama. You guys are separated for quite a ways.
Central Alabama. Okay. I my oh I was maybe what was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking, South Alabama. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool, Tracy. Yeah, my wife, when she was in the Marines, she was in uh, Okinawa, Japan for like three years. That was before we were together, but uh yeah. I've I've been overseas a lot, but I've never lived overseas. I, lo I love traveling. Uh, yeah. Last last big trip we took internationally, we went to Tokyo for a couple weeks in Japan. And that was that was a lot of fun. The flight over there wasn't that <laughs> wasn't that fun because it's such a long flight. But uh, I like visiting other areas, other cultures, other countries. It's a lot of fun. I'm still like dumbstruck about the lack of people in here because even if someone like rakin is is live or uh, or someone else you would think i would have my normal core 10 20 30 people it's so bizarre i don't really understand <laughs> but <laughs> uh i have been getting listings done every day uh, did you get a lot done yesterday craig uh tracy you list on ebay every day are you part-timer full-timer Uh, yesterday i listed a bunch of uh it was easier stuff you know clothing is really hard stuff to list and uh i listed a bunch of uh dvds sealed in the package dvds and stuff like you know uh some of those uh, they aren't worth listing to me that only bring like five dollars or so i send those to a local source but uh yeah Oh, I got, I just got your thing in Facebook, Craig, the, uh, the, the Chrome name tracker thing. I'm going to install that. Yeah. I'll, I'll find that and install that instead of having my handwritten chicken scratch list sitting here. <laughs> oh gosh. Got about Craig got about 15 listed. Yeah. I just got that Craig. I got the, uh, the message. Oh, that's cool, Craig. Appreciate that. But it's on that that store, whatever. I can look it up by the name and uh, use it. Uh, Tracy finally got a kaching this morning, full time eBay, getting ready to start Amazon Poshmark too. But I hate Posh. Yeah, I mean, I have some stuff listed on Posh, and there's people that do really, really well on there, like Andy the Parrothead Picker and Lauren at Hot Chic. Thrift, thrift. Um, I have some of my better stuff on there, like about seventy items, some pretty good stuff, and I've had three, uh, three items sell total in like four months. So it's definitely not a. Uh, if it wasn't for eBay, uh, you know, I, I could definitely couldn't do Poshmark full time. I'll put it that way. Okay. Okay. You've been on Posh two years, Tracy. How, how many do you sell? I'd say per month. You know, do you do you get two, three, six, eight, ten sales a month? I know you have. Obviously, you have to sell clothes uh, and shoes and accessories and stuff. But uh, it's always interesting to see how many, how much stuff other people sell on those uh, platforms. And you know what their listed numbers are like Justin, just, just in the with RVA flips just started on posh as well. And he sold one thing immediately, but he hasn't sold anything since. Yeah. That aspect too, that we've talked about that, that, that social aspect, you have to get on there and share other people's stuff every day and even share your own stuff. And, you know, I'm not really down with that. I got a lot of other stuff to do rather than sit there for half an hour every day, you know, sharing stuff. So as a, as a, there's a lot of things I uh, like about Poshmark. I like the way they do their shipping, how, when you sell something, they just send you the label and you ship it out and, uh, the ease of listing, you know, it's a very simple, uh, listing sheet, but, um, uh, yeah, that's good. 
Yeah, Tracy, I'm, I've, I was trying to figure out exactly where I'm at with clothing and hard goods and I'm probably 50, 50, you know, I do buy a lot, buy a lot of clothings, but I'm super picky on them now. When I was start, first starting to be, beef up my inventory, when I was doing, started doing this full time, I would buy almost, you know, everything, bread and butter items that can make 10 bucks on, but not anymore. Well, that's cool. You got an antique booth. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Like I said, I owned a flea market antique mall for 10 years for a decade in Missouri. That was a, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, not just a booth I owned. I owned the whole store. <laughs> I had a 10,000 square foot store and I, you know, rented spaces out to vendors just like yourself. So. I think something's gone haywire in the YouTube like notification or algorithm or something, because I can't believe this is normal. I mean, even back when I only had, uh, you know, 200 subscribers and now I have, you know, almost 1300, I would get, you know, <laughs> 10 or 12 people. And it's, it's super bizarre that only four people are watching, but yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, Tracy. Um, uh, after 10 years, it, it wore on us a lot. You know, it was a lot of work. Um, not only managing, you know, up to 20 employees, but also, you know, placating and, and, um, yeah, satisfying and trying to do the right things for 200 plus dealers. So I haven't used them yet, uh, Craig, I'm still waiting on those rails to come in, but, uh, I do have them in hand. I have them in possession. So, uh, once those rails come in, I'm going to get those led panel lights up and, uh, Hopefully they work as well as I hope they do, you know, you know, so yeah, I ordered from Amazon and, uh, if they work out as well as I uh, hope they will, you know, if they're whatever, you know, what they're cracked up to be, I'll add that to my list of Am Amazon affiliate links in my uh, description. But, uh, you know, obviously I don't want to recommend something that's going to be crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I, you know what? I may just take one out of the box today just to plug it in and see how it works. And if it, you know, works to my satisfaction, I'll add the affiliate link to my videos and stuff. So thanks, Craig. You know, all those pennies help. I think so, uh, uh, Terry. I, I'm not sure if they're the exact same ones, but uh, it's a similar style. The LED panel lights with the uh, baffles. Uh, yeah, so. You know, there's a lot of different versions and, uh, and I don't know exactly which version Lonnie uses, but similar. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I hung on for a while and, uh, I was hoping more people would pop in, but it's kind of a strange day. So. Well, they're decent. That's cool. Um, Yeah. Like I said, once I get it all set up, it's going to be set up over in this area, like this side of the cat tree. <laughs> and I'm going to hang it from the ceiling and make that the photography and video area over there. So, well, it's, it's, it's kind of weird, but thanks you too, Tracy and Craig. Thanks for popping in. Uh, I don't know what happened today, but, uh, you know, it won't stop me from trying again. So, uh, I'm going to go find my items so I can pack those up and the mailman will be running here in the next 30, 45 minutes or so, but. Thanks, guys. So we'll see you later.